Good morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on where you are in the world. Thank you for tuning into my channel once more, if you are. Um, yeah. I'm going to talk to you about that real quick. I'm going to spin your rat back around. I want to talk just for a second to anybody that watches this. Thank you for watching, but I also have a question. I get people that are posting um, comments, but I can't read them. I can't respond to them. I have no idea. The only one that was allowed to, um, that got through, unfortunately, which is really bizarre, was my brother who's mentally ill, who needs help not getting the proper help he's not helping himself he's not getting with the program he's a veteran he's but he's he's sick and he's not he's not well and he's not helping himself and yet he was able to get through to me I'm not sure how um, maybe because he subscribed but I blocked him I, I love my brother but he's 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 a vampire. He's become one of those people that he need, he's he's not getting he's not doing the work to help himself to get better. Or whatever I don't know what he's done. Everybody has to tone for what you've done. You know your karma. You got to accept your karma before you can move on and heal. You got to take the karma. The poor thing isn't doing that. I mean, it's, it's suffering. And it sucks. But I would, that's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about you. I want to talk about anybody that can see this. Like I said, I'm getting people commenting on my videos, but I have no views. So I don't even know how many people have seen my videos I watched. YouTube is not being honest. You, it's I don't know what's going on with my channel. I'm being restricted for all this weird crap that I don't even understand. You know, I thought we were all adults here. I didn't know this was the Disney channel and everybody else has to obey some weird child thing. It's like, dude, there should be no children on YouTube anyways. And it should be like a separate... You need to have like a, like what do they have that, um, Nickelodeon or something. They have like a Nickelodeon YouTube for children that their parents can monitor their every move and not have scumbags, you know, take advantage of it. Anyway, we're all adults here. I'm, and we are, it's important that we can be able to communicate without this bullshit um, censorship. Censorship. Whatever. But yeah, you can't tell me that nobody's viewing when I'm getting comments on the, on the videos. So what I need is people to either, you know, try and comment. I don't know if I wish so. I wish I, you know, somebody can help me to help figure out if somebody's juju my stuff. I know that I'm being a psychically attacked. And I'm even doing it my family. Their intentions. They're seeing me and uh, somehow happy being poor as hell and homeless, and yet that's not good enough. It's like I should be suffering. I, don't know. I have some sick family. They they have issues. And it's not just my brother. He's he's his is mostly. Um, I think a lot of it is just um, chemical imbalance, and, and wrong diet, not, and literally not taking care of yourself, drinking water, eating right, not doing weird drugs or whatever the hell people are doing today. I don't know. I just, I can't. I have to, I, I'm still healing my, my own wounds and trying to focus on me. And that's tough in this world. If you have family, I'm telling you right now, family is toxic. If they're not working on themselves internally, they're just a toxic mess and they're going to weigh you down. Get away from your family. You can say it. If you, don't, if you don't need them financially, and if you do, you need to find a way to get out of it. Because family is taught. I, I, for me, I was so sympathetic. I was the empath. I was always concerned about everybody in my family. My nephews, my nieces, my sisters, my brothers, aunts, uncles, cousins. I was always concerned about everybody but me. And nobody gave a fuck about me. It was all pretenders. I was very narcissistic, selfish individuals. I love them, <laughs> but at the same time, they're they're not healing. They're not doing the work. I've done the work, and once you've done the work, you see who hasn't. You know what I'm saying? You can you can recognize the Jedi from the Padawan, the the one you know, the one that still is a child, still is needs to to heal that inner child. If you're a Jedi, you can see it, and you're like, oh, I don't want nothing to do with that mess. I gotta go. Because that inner child, if they're not going to do the work on themselves, they're just going to be vampires. On Because you don't have the energy to create positivity, to, to love and light. And they got to suck it off other people's. You know what I mean? It sucks. But that's the truth. And, you know, we're having a moment. And I'm telling you. I'm being censored. I'm not being... I'm, my voice isn't getting out. And if it is, uh, people... I don't know how many people have even watched my stuff. 
We ain't got four subscribers. That's ridiculous. I love, you know, four because it's it's a lucky number for me. It's my birthday. But sometimes I'm like, damn, really four? That's why I laugh when I even think about this because you know, is anybody even watching this? You know, what are you, what are you gonna do? It's it, this is just my it's lethargic. Yeah, this is my way of just you know getting my voice out and. I need to get. I need to get used to talking to myself and to others. Come communicate. And yeah, you know, if I'm going to be in the journalism business, or if I'm going to have to communicate with people to help the homeless and help to advocate for the homeless, I'm going to have to talk to people with money, with influence and power. Talk to you know mayors and you know you know governors and stuff like that. But I want to help people. You know, I'm a light person. I just it's, I got to get used to being around people again. I'm just very introverted. When you're a strong empath and people are nuts, or they're just really vampire-ish because they're so scared, and they're like, everybody, you know, it's like you just want to get the hell away from everybody. But I do want to help the homeless. I do want to, you know, I'm Robin Hood, baby. Give me a billion dollars and see how quick I can spend it just traveling around building, you know, mini homes for people. Giving it away to homeless people so they can have a bank account, so they have some kind of money. If they have a card with just money on it, that they know is on it and that's there. It's that that's that comfort. They if they need a hotel room, they get a hotel room and wash their ass and, and get a good night's sleep in a locked room and then they can go back out and be adventurous. You know, whatever. It's you know, we shouldn't put limits on people just because of their their class or their income. Being poor is not a crime. Being impoverished is not a sickness or a disease. It's just a circumstance, it's a moment in time that people find themselves wrapped in. But it doesn't encompass the old who they are. You understand? So we all need to work together and get out of this bullshit. If you have money, give. If you have enough to give, don't harm yourself. Don't make yourself homeless. But at the same time, if you got the money to spend, to share, do it. Love thy neighbor, right? And help the homeless. My brother's homeless. He's thank God he's staying with my sisters, my sisters, my nephew, my sister's son. And hopefully they can heal each other. And I, I pray for my brother. I had to block him from this because I'm like, I can't have that kind of energy coming at me. If you're not going to wish the best for me, if you're not rooting for me, if you're just giving me creepy messages and stuff, I'm just going to want nothing to do with you. It's like, that's how you cut people out of your lives. If they're not, if they're not going, you can do it. You're the best. I love you. That's all you got to say to somebody. You don't got to creep them out. It's just not necessary. He's, that boy is, he needs help. I love him. Good Lord. So just, if your family's creeping you out, if they're just draining you, if you feel drained around them, if you're not happy when, after they called, you feel worse about yourself, or it's almost like you start going, getting triggered, get away from them, because they are a trigger. Your family is going to trigger you into bad behavior, alcoholism, drug abuse, sexual encounters with strangers that you're just really going to fucking regret. So, <sighs> love yourself. You are a miracle. Respect me. Be the miracle. Love and light people. And that's is the lesson or the bitch. <laughs> My rant for the day. Well, grinds my gears, baby. There's some seagulls for you. What's up, babes? There's the last down there again. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day, okay? Okay, bye.